What does it mean to glorify God and how can I bring God glory through my life? If you've ever had questions about how to glorify the Lord, then stay tuned. Hey guys, my name is Justin and I want to welcome you to That Christian Vlogger, a place where you get to join me and experience faith in the first person. On this channel, I talk about relevant issues of faith every single Monday and Thursday, so definitely consider subscribing. If you've grown up in the church, then you've probably heard the phrase glorify God about a million times. And unfortunately, hearing something that many times doesn't necessarily make it clear on exactly how to do it. So in today's video, I'm going to give you five different ways that you can bring glory to God. Way number one to bring glory to God is through worship. Worship is much more than simply praising or singing or praying. By confining worship to a particular hour on the weekend, then we misunderstand what true worship is all about. True worship has much more to do with the other 167 hours in a given week. I think C.S. Lewis said it best by saying, in commanding us to glorify Him, God is inviting us to enjoy Him. You see, worship is a lifestyle of enjoying God, loving Him, and giving ourselves to be used for His purpose. Romans 6.13 says that since God has redeemed us, we are to give our lives as instruments for righteousness. In other words, your day-to-day -day activity, when done with God in mind, can actually be an expression of worship. Everything from your work or going to the gym or your cooking and even just spending time with your loved ones can be an expression of worship when you keep God in mind as you do them. The second way to glorify God is simply by loving others. Over and over, Christians are told to love each other. In fact, Jesus not only commanded us to love, he even said that our love for others was the exact key way that people would know that we belong to him and are his disciples. Which is actually why I've made this little shirt as just a simple reminder of that fact. By the way, you can grab a shirt like this available at shop.thatchristianvlogger.com. Now, when we love other people well, we reflect the goodness of God and we bring glory to Him through our actions. I remember one day when I was quite young having an elderly woman compliment me. I just waited what felt like an eternity for her to make her way across the entryway to a store because I was holding the door open for her. After thanking me, this uh, grandmother type person complimented me by saying, your parents raised you right. You see, in the same manner, the way that we treat other peoples will either bring glory or shame to God. Third way to glorify God is to become more like Christ. Becoming more like Christ isn't really just limited to your morals and actions. You see, the more that we become like Christ, the more we begin to think, feel, and act like Him as well. The Bible says that as we behold the glory of the Lord, we are being transformed into the same image. One of my favorite authors mentions that our character is made up of our thoughts and our feelings. And you see, as we become more like Christ, then that means that our thoughts and our feelings should become more aligned with His. Our hearts begin to yearn for the same thing that Christ's heart yearns for, and the same thing that breaks God's heart will begin to break ours. And it's this inward transformation that leads us to seek to being used by God to change the world. And this is what leads us to the fourth way to glorify God, which is by serving other people. One of my favorite quotes of all times comes from the movie Chariots of Fire. The movie is about a Christian runner who ran in the Olympics. And in this movie, Eric Liddell says, I believe God made me for a purpose, but he also made me fast. And when I run, I feel his pleasure. Our gifts and talents are part of what makes each of us uniquely separate and special. And when we use those gifts, not only for ourselves, but to serve a higher purpose, that's when we bring God glory. Paul put it this way, as each of us have received a gift, use it to serve one another as good stewards of God's varied grace, in order that in everything God may be glorified through Jesus Christ. As we grow and as we develop our gifts, God will grant us the tools to make an impact in the world around us. You see, our gifts were never intended to be buried and kept to ourselves, but are meant to serve others and glorify God. And last but not least, we bring glory to God by telling other people about Him. 
2 Corinthians 4 verse 15 talks about when we share God's grace to those around us, it leads to the greater glory of God. By us sharing the gospel with others and introducing them to Jesus, then we get to participate in the plan of salvation in helping to prepare people for eternity. And of course, nothing brings God more glory than when someone surrenders their life and decides that they want to follow Him wholeheartedly. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, I'd love to know your thoughts. What are some ways that you try to bring glory to God? Also, thanks to my amazing patrons for making videos like this one possible. If you'd like a shirt or access to my new course on how to grow a Christian YouTube channel, you can check it all out at shop.thatchristianvlogger.com. But until next time, I'm That Christian Vlogger, and I want to encourage you to experience faith in the first person. God bless.